All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with a Cancept Axe Peter here with me for a maintenance video. Uh, we're gonna try to improve this uh, action uh, because it's nice, but you see, maybe we can do something about this guy. But hey, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, let me know what do you guys think about this bad boy right over here. And let's get started. You know, you can also check out uh, fablades.com uh, if you are in the market for some uh, blades or some toys, uh, up to you. Uh, maybe there's something that you're gonna like. Uh, I don't know. Let's just check that out. You can also check uh, Instagram at uh, Fablades and see what's up with that. So we're gonna start with a T6 uh, right over here on the show side. Um, and yeah, that's coming off pretty nicely. Uh, we're gonna need a T8 uh, for the pivot, uh, but we're gonna start from over here and keep it pinched together. There you go. And now we're gonna undo the pivot screw right here. That's a T8, right? But look at that, pivot is spinning, no problem. We have a nice uh, uh, T8 right over here, just clamp it together in a nice and secure position and very gently just unscrew because in this phase can something can slip and you don't want that so here this guy is coming apart there you go i should have probably in this case unscrewed the pivot first but i'm just going very slowly because I don't want the spring tension of the lock bar to just have these scales fly away. All right, so just uh, removing how come this guy is not coming apart? I don't know. Let's see, let's do like that. There you go. And boom, we are in business, guys. Uh, strange uh, wash um, bearings uh, right over here. We got, uh, see, like uh, a dark plastic, I think, and uh, that comes with ceramic ball bearings. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then just grab uh, either some. Uh, um, alcohol uh, like pads uh, like swabs like these guys or some rubbing alcohol and uh, just like a microfiber cloth uh, this is gonna be sufficient uh, in this case this knife is pretty clean and uh, i got this guy from uh, kevin cleary you can also check out his uh, his channel it's uh, it's pretty nice uh, He's been around forever and he's also a fellow Canadian, so check him out. Um, here you got, you see, like some, uh, that, that's the stop pin track and you got the uh, steel spacers right over there. You got Kim Ning, that's the designer. And uh, here you go, pivot is clean, everything is pretty clean. You got a floating pivot for the back spacer. And uh, there's no internal milling on the scales. You can actually see through here the carbon fiber. Now we've cleaned up everything, the blade, and uh, we are ready to go backwards. Oh, look at that, perfect. You can also clean this inlay. So the action wasn't spectacular. It was nice, but uh, maybe, maybe we can do something better. Look at this nice pivot color on this side. Um, let's see. So we got the bearings back. We're gonna use some uh, 10 weight nano oil to, which is right over here. For the bearings so like one two and three drops and one on the detent ball blades in place 
bearings are back one two and three on this side as well and uh, here you go it's nicely done guys I have to say that so backspacer is back in place and show side scale is also in place um, you know what I'm just gonna use a little bit of uh, blue Loctite for the pivot not that I'm concerned that it's gonna come off or come loose but you know just a little bit blue it's not gonna hurt it's not the red one here you go we're gonna tune it in a second grab the T6 close the Loctite because otherwise it's gonna dry pretty quickly check that everything is pinched nicely together and boom T6 is in place and the second handle screw right over here is also back in place just a gentle twist all right let's see way off center so yeah we need to fix this pivot right over here let's see if I can do like that oh yeah that is uh, probably way too tight way too tight so let's loosen up this guy until the blade comes off center and then here you go now it's centered there's a little bit of play action is much nicer but we don't like blade play so we're gonna do a little bit less blade is centered here you go blade is not playing that's very cool because the action guys look at this here you go nice very good so just let the oil spread around on the Deaton ball track and boom look at this guys look at this very nice it's a front flipper of course and now the action has been tuned by fab and works pretty well so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching stay tuned